YouTube was good. It's Coach Gerard, uh, back with another video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Coach Gerard. I am a relationship, kingdom, relationship, and life coach. I teach relationship and life issues from a kingdom standpoint. Um, kingdom means God's will doing things. So I am a kingdom coach. Um, if there's this type of content, hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell and get notified whenever I upload a video. And also to my returning family, thank y'all so much for coming back to my channel. Thank y'all for y'all support. Um, today I want to talk about um, gold digging men. Gold digging men. Be aware of gold digging men. You know, there used to be a time back in the day that you had more women gold digging than you had men. You know, men didn't really gold dig. Uh, my era, before my era, you know, growing up, like I said, I was born in 76. I grew up in the 80s, you know, 90s. And that's one thing men did not do. Men did not gold dig, you know. You probably have some men that did that, but uh, this that was like very rare. You know, some exceptions, yeah. Uh, a man who gold dig off women, a man who asks women women for uh, money and live off a woman is a feminine man. Feminine man, because part of masculinity is providing a real masculine man. A real masculine man loves to provide for a woman. A real masculine man. And whenever men do not like to provide for a woman, but he like to take from the woman, that's a feminine man. Real masculine man. And see, I talked about it about maybe two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, we live in a feminized male culture. A lot of men have been feminized and they don't even know it. Don't even know it. A real masculine man love to provide for a woman. They, they, they love it. They love it. Any man who do not like to provide for a woman is not a masculine man. Any man who go 50-50 on dates is not a masculine man. A real masculine man will not let a woman pay. A real masculine man will not ask a woman that he's trying to date for money. He will exhaust all his other options before he asks a, the woman that he loves, the woman that he's with, for money. Because why? He got too much pride to ask his woman for money. See what I'm saying? See, I've been there. <clears throat> I dated a woman that weighed, that made six figures. I was making 35000 a year. But get what? There were times where I needed money. But I would ask my homeboy, hey, hey dog, let me get $200 for lunch and some gas. I, ne I never asked her for money. But there been times she offered because she knew I was broke, you know. And I said, "No, nah, I'm all right. No, 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 no. I know you. I know you need some money." He, he, again, she made six figures. She made good money, you know. So I, I didn't feel like a man asking her for money. And I remember one time, you know, we had went out to eat. She had called me and asked me what I was doing. I was like, I, you know, I ain't doing nothing. I'm just chilling, whatever. You know. But well, she said, well, uh, you want to go get something to eat? I said, um, well, you know, I ain't got no money. Oh, don't worry about that. I got you. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Come on. You know me by now. I'm not all about your money. I got you. I said, all right. And then she like, my friend, my friend, she going to come too. So, it was me, her, and her female friend. And we had went out to eat. And after we got finished eating, 
the waitress got the bill and put it on my side of the table, put it in front of me. She gave me the bill. And my girl, my ex, she she grabbed the bill from the uh, from in front of me, and the waitress was sitting right there, and she looked at the bill and put her card out. I felt so embarrassed. I felt so I, I felt so less of a man. I felt emasculated that she had to pay. And I was, every time we we had without the week, she had to pay. I, I was, you know, I was broke at that time. You know. <clears throat> This was probably about like six, seven years ago. Um, about maybe six years ago. Seven or six years, something around now. So I felt bad, like, wow. As a man, I want to pay for her and her friend. Even though I wasn't dating her friend, but I wasn't going to let her friend pay. If I'm going on a date with uh, my girl, and she got a friend girl with us, she's not paying. Her and her friend ain't paying. I'm paying for both of them. Cause why? That's masculinity. That's masculinity. So, you know, we end up, you know, breaking up because, you know, when she got sick and I couldn't help, help her pay her rent, I felt bad. I wanted to help her pay her rent, but I couldn't afford it. You know, she had an $1,800 a month rent. And, you know, and then when she got sick and she couldn't work, you know, she had other friends using her for her money. So her money started, you know, her savings and everything started getting low. And uh, she looked at me like, I need, I need help with my rent. I'm like, I ain't got it. But in my mind, in my spirit, I wanted to help. So she got, at one point, she got mad like, damn, what I need you for? He can't hit me with my rent. Da, 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 da. I said, listen, you know, when we first met, we first started talking. I told you we shouldn't, we shouldn't date because I don't have a job. Let's just talk, be friends, get to know each other. But, you know, until I get a job, I don't want to date because, you know, I tell her, it don't make no sense me dating if I ain't got no job because I'm dating with the purpose of getting married. If I can't provide for you, I'd rather be single. Don't worry about that. I'm, I'm going to stick with you, you know, until we, you know, until you get a job on your feet. You know, I got you. I got you. And me, being nice, I said, yeah, okay. But knowing that's not what I like. I don't like being in a situation where I can't provide for a woman that I'm dating, you know. But we end up breaking that off. I ended up bringing it out because I felt like, you know, he wasn't the right fit. She wasn't the right fit. I shouldn't have been dating. I should have been in a relationship with her at that time because my finances wasn't right. So I put that out. See, a real man, if he a real man, he wouldn't even, if, he, if, he, if his money not right, he wouldn't even be dating. And the reason why I'm doing this video, because some women need to hear this. Some women need to hear this, what I'm saying, because <laughs> a lot of women are giving men money. And I always tell women, do not give me money. Some women, and I don't know who this for, but some women are so desperate for a man, they try to buy a man. <laughs> some women want a man so bad, they, and when you are a woman, and you love giving me your money, you are being, you working on your masculinity. When you are a woman, and when you provide for a man, you take care of men, you are working in your masculinity. If you cannot walk in your femininity with a man, that's not the man for you. A woman should not have to go on her purse and help no man I, I don't believe in the new stuff they got going on, holding man down. See, stuff like that, that go viral on social media. See, again, back in the day, men weren't like this. Maybe a couple of men were like this, but back in the day, men didn't want to take money for women. Real men, you know, and the men back in the day, they, some of them, a lot of men cheated on women, yeah. You know, a lot of men, um, 
hit women. That been going on forever. But one thing about those men, at least they provided for a woman. I'm just saying. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that it's right to hit women. But we got a, we got a, a new feminized male society where men have become gold diggers. Not all men, but we have more gold diggers than uh, than uh, men than women in society. It's a dog on shame that and see a lot of these men gonna get mad. They're not men; they going boys. Come my comment crying, cool raw. You what we talking about? About 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 a man put do for a woman. What woman put do for up? Little boy. Stop crying like a little girl and get out the car, man, and be a real man. Be a real man and find you a woman based upon character that you can lead and she's going to respect you and submit to you because you lead with love. But women are gold digger too. Not all women. We live in a town now. A lot of women are not gold diggers. You know what? Because women get their own money now. Women get their own money. You know what I'm saying? So, but now, like I said before, we got all this social media stuff. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all this stuff. People get old people that go get make a video and say, get you a woman gonna hold you down. And a lot of times it, it, it be a woman on the video, talking about holding a man down. A real woman will hold a man down. That stuff go viral. That stuff gets in. That stuff gets in in, 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 in your mind. It gets in in men's mind. Now, men have become feminized because all this stuff has been going on. Going viral on social media. And what y'all don't realize, social media have a big influence on society. When people have not been raised right and they've been raised by social media, they've been raised by their phone, and all they hear is hold a man down, provide that for a man, and do this for a man, and they seeing women. Buying men rental properties. Not their husband. Women buying their boyfriend rental properties. This was this, this, this what's going on on social media. This was going viral. So men see that and say, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. I want, I want a woman to buy me something, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Why we got to always buy, buy a woman something? Uh, things change. We're not back in the 70s no more. I don't care what we live in. I don't care what change. Listen, a man does not pose a let a woman. I won't even let no one buy me no rental property. I say, look, listen, listen, baby. Me, I thank you so much for for buying for buying me the rental property. But listen, I don't want it. I don't want it because I feel like I want to do something for her. Now me, I won't buy a woman a rental property unless she's my wife. A girlfriend? No. Girlfriend don't 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 mean nothing. Cause we could break up just like that right there. But a wife? Yeah. But you got women buying boyfriends rental properties. You know the video, it went viral. A woman bought a, a boy her boyfriend rental property for his birthday. He talking about he want to roll that watch. And what that man would do, that man would get that rental property and have other women in that rental property mess around with them with the rental property that you brought. See what I'm saying? And listen, ladies, do not give a man money. I said this on a lot of my videos, many of my old videos I did back years ago. Do not give a man money. I don't care what situation is. Do not give a boyfriend money. Y'all not one. Y'all not one. Y'all not one. If y'all not married, you not one. 
But if you're married, y'all want. What's yours is his, what his is yours. But don't get no boyfriend no money. Don't get no man who just met money. I have coached women that have gave men money, thousands of dollars. One situation, the woman met the man online dating. For six months, they've been talking for six months on the phone, online dating. The man said he loved her. Then he gonna marry her. Red flag. Eight, most men, not all men, but the majority of men cannot fall in love with a woman unless he see her in person. That's why a lot of men ask y'all for body pics. If if you if a man never saw you in person, right? Let's say you met this man on Facebook or Instagram, and he never saw you in person. But all he saw is your face, is, is uh, pictures of your uh, waist above your face, but he never seen your body. That's why men ask for body pics. Men want to know how you look from head to toe. That's how men was created by God to fall in love. I cannot stress this enough. Men have been created by God. When God made a man, he put it inside a man. When we see somebody we like, we want to be with them. When we see somebody we like physically, we want to provide for them and take care of them. God put it inside a man. And you know what believe me? Read the Bible, the book of Genesis, I think chapter 29, talks about Jacob met Rachel. I think it's in 29, maybe 28. If, if, I'm, if I'm wrong, Google it. But you, if you figure out what it is. Jacob did not fall in love with Rachel because Rachel had money. Jacob fell in love with Rachel for one reason. And he took care of Rachel, provided for Rachel, Rachel didn't have to work. Why? Because Rachel had a nice shape and a pretty face. That's how men have been created to fall in love with a woman. By what they see. By what they see. So if you're on the phone with a man long um uh, online dating or long distance, and that man it been six months, if that man had not claimed to see you, tell me he loved you, he wanna marry you, he lying, sis. Red flag. I told the girl, I told the client. That's a red flag right there. For six months, this man said he love you, he want to marry you, and he can't think of no date yet. The whole six months, this man asked you for money. You keep on giving the man money. Can't you see you being used? Sus, it's not like a science. You're being used for six months. This man never came and saw you. The whole six months, all he be doing, I need money for this. I need money for my rent. I need I'm, I'm, I need help. I'm gonna pay you back. And then he told her that you know he got some money coming. He got a lawsuit coming or something like that. A lot of money, and he gonna pay her back in in with more money on top of that because he appreciate what he done for her. And uh, I said, sus, the man lying. He's not going to pay you back. He is a scam artist. Oh, yeah, he's going to pay me. Sus. When I be on the phone with my client, when I tell y'all about a man, this is what I'm telling y'all. I told her, that man is not going to give you money back. He lying to you. How you know? Sus. You got scam artists out here. I don't call so many women. They did the same thing you did. The man is not going to give you money. Oh, yes, he is. No, he ain't. He lying. He don't have no lawsuit. He lying. But see, when a woman is desperate for a man, when a woman want to be with a man so bad, she will give a man all her money. Men are online dating, are preying on women who have low self-esteem, preying on women who full figure and who feel like I gotta buy I gotta buy, buy men and these men attractive men with muscles and all handsome looking men and a lot of times and a lot of times they have a fake profile with a fake picture yeah they they, they, they get a fake picture 
and set a profile up and they be online scamming desperate women. I've had a woman reach out to me. Um, she inboxed me. She used to follow me on Facebook. She followed me on Facebook. She said, Coach Rod, I thank God for you. Because what you're doing, you are helping a lot of women. And you are saving a lot of women from a headache. Because if I would have known you a, a couple of years ago, if I didn't watch your videos a couple of years ago, I, I would still have my money, Coach Rod. Coach Rod, I gave all my, my life savings to a man online that I'd never seen before. For a whole year, me and this man been talking online, he never came and saw me, red flag. If you are talking to a man online, and that man say he love you, he want to marry you, if that man do not come see you and take you out on a date, so that man is full of ish. He lying. He lying. The man promised her a marriage. The man, oh, I'm going to marry you. You're my wife. you the one for me. Oh, I love you. And even when believe that stuff, hey, I, I, I need $5,000. Okay, you need $5,000? No problem. Ding. They go send the man $5,000. Now, this woman say, Coach Rob, I ain't got no money now. I'm broke. She said, if I don't know this stuff back then, I would have still have my money, Coach Rob. Now, you got some women, they going to watch my video. Watch all my videos. And if you've been watching me for years, you know I always preach to women. Do not give a man money. Queens do not finance men. I always tell you that right there. And some women, they watch me, Pastor Blakes, and Brother Tony, and we tell y'all the same thing. Do not give men money. And women will sit right there and watch three of us, and then go give, give a man their whole life savings because they desperate for a good God like a man. Stop being desperate for a man, sis. You cannot buy a man. Watching all the videos, reading all the books, And still get him any money. Here you go. You need money? I love you. I want to marry you. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all now. Another woman inboxed me. Go try. I've been with the man for six months. We've been dating for six months. He said he's in love with me. He want to marry me. <laughs> That's what they all say, sis. They are, a man going to come in your life and tell you he love you. God said you my wife. God told me to marry you. <clears throat> Men using that stuff as a, 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 a you know dangling marriage over y'all head, cause they know y'all just for a man. Y'all know y'all just for get married. Y'all want a husband. You want God to send your husband. I want God to send my husband. But every time you did a man, you 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 go in your pocketbook giving the man money. God ain't gonna send you no man, huh? Who ain't got no money? God is not going to send you no man who he's going to ask you for your money, sis. When God sends you a man, he's going to be a man that want to provide for you. Real godly men. Real godly men know their responsibility as a man is to provide for their wife and their family. It's a doggone shame. We got cowards. We got punk men. We got feminine men in the pulpit preaching. Feminine men in the pulpit and don't understand leadership. I don't understand headship. In... In the Bible, it's spiritual that a man provide and lead for his wife and his family. It says what? Love your wife like Christ loved the church. What Christ, Christ feed the church? Christ provide for the church. Christ protect the church. In Matthew 6 and, 20, uh, uh, 6 and 33, it said what? If God feed the birds, if Christ feed the birds, then what? He going to feed you. So that means Christ provide for the church. So the same way as Christ provide for the church, a man provide for his wife. That's spiritual. But you got a lot of men in the pulpit, bishops, apostles, evangelists, prophets, and they feminine. And they get mad with me. 
Because I'm telling women, do not give men money. God ain't going to see no man who need money, sis. This lady said to me, six months ago, Gerard, he said he loved me. We're going to get married. That's what they all say. Because they know y'all this y'all this for her. Man. So they're going to tell y'all, God, I love you. God sent me in your life. And I'm going to marry you. But Coach Roger, man, asked me to take my house. I paid my house off. My house was paid off. He asked me to take my house um, and get a loan out on my house. And um, then give him the money for an investment. And he said, you know, when, when, I, when I give him the money, I'm trying, I'm trying to remember how she said it. Because it's been years ago. When I give him the money, we're going to get a big return on our investment. And he's going to give me the money back and more. So when I read the inbox, I was like, hmm. So I thought about it before I responded. You know, I, I didn't respond right away. Then the Holy Spirit said, if that was you, if you was a man and you're in love with a woman and you want to marry that woman and, and that's your wife, would you do that? Would you do that? Would you ask a woman to take a loan on her own house for an investment? I said, no, nah, I won't do that. I say, I, I, I inbox her back. I say, sis, that's a scam. That's a scam. Do not get that man money. I say, listen to what I'm telling you. Do not take your house and get a loan on your house for that man. Men out here are gold digging and they're using women for money. So I told her, don't do it. It's up to you. But I'm warning you, sis. That's a scam. She said, okay, Coach Rod. I think I think you're right. But a month or so later, she 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 inbox me. She said, Coach Rod, I thank God for you. You was right. It was a scam. Because now that I will not do what he want me to do, 